Coney is back. Today I'm flying from the Imperial County Airport in California to the Yuma Airport in Arizona. I'm flying a Cessna 208B Grand Caravan. I downloaded a livery pack and so I thought I would put something fun on the side of the plane. Uh, we'll see how much I like that going forward. So let's go ahead and get started. Go inside. I've already got the autopilot preset. So take off the parking brake and let's go let's get going. correction and gain some altitude. Keeping an eye on my airspeed and thrust. Alright, flaps up. I need to work on making that transition smoother. Maybe step them up rather than all up at once or something. Alright, so. There's a Cali approach KH275 is type Cessna Caravan, one miles east of Kilo India Papalima. Request flight following. KH275. Okay, so that should have us on the right path. And now I'm going to make sure now is on. Engage on the ground. Let off the stick and let the plane take over. I've set a flight level of 3200 feet, although I haven't set flight level change yet, so let me go ahead and do that. going to expect some more thrust. Sorry for the clicks and pops. I'm trying to figure out the best place to put my mic. Uh, it's a little difficult to figure out a good place that doesn't get some kind of wind effects, so bear with me. Alright, so as soon as we get to altitude and level off, I'll go outside and look around. to switch to altitude hold mode. Looks like the thrust is going maybe need to drop that a bit. Alright, I see a lot of agricultural land out there. That looks nice. Um, it's kind of hazy. Maybe some clouds off in the distance. All Artificial, of course. Uh, but autopilot has taken over, so I'm going to reset my view here and head outside, look around a little bit. Looks very flat, at least in the local area. Alright, so there's the new livery. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure I like it completely. Uh, there were a bunch of others. Downloaded a free delivery map. It's kind of a nice shot with the glaring sun in the background. The 
air seems extremely calm. I have it set to real time, real weather. It's so hazy, it's kind of hard to see any detail in the stuff below. Uh, we'll probably get to a point where we can start to see some of it. Let me look down and see what I can find. Alright, well there's a bunch of details that we've seen there. Mostly agricultural stuff it looks like, and some housing. quieter inside. Let me look around a bit from here. That's a cool view. Looks like there's no way to open this uh, side window here. Not that you'd really need to, I guess. better at smooth Xbox controller action there. That looked pretty nice. Uh, it would be nice if you could actually get up and walk around inside. You can't really do that. I'm going to go outside to the drone. Okay, so what you can do with the drone, though, is you can actually go inside the body of the plane and look at it. Yeah, so here we are inside. Uh, now the drones are dependent of the plane. Um, I mean, they're actually fixed, but it's sort of elastic, so that's why it's moving around so much. You can't really just sit in one place. Boy, this mic is driving me crazy. Okay. Um, but in this view, you can actually see the pilot, the co-pilot, sitting flat the plane, which you don't normally get to see. So basically the, the drone is, you know, you just go into any kind of geometry and look around. Makes for some nice views because you lose all the instruments on the on the screen. So you just get a nice clean view. I wish there was a way to get rid of the airport tag, you know, temporarily. I don't know how, don't know how to do that. Uh, so as far as this livery, what... What it's all about. I see a name over here. Nature Air. Okay. Well, that's cute. A bunch of animals. Very kid friendly. That's right. Trigger go up. Okay. Alright. Well, that's more interesting than just the default. Bunch of land. It doesn't look like there's a lot happening here. It just seems to be pretty flat. Maybe it's sloping up slightly. I'm not sure. All right. So that was the drone. But I'm going to actually go outside. I wanted to look back and look down. We left all that agricultural land and now we're in kind of undeveloped territory. I've only been in this area a couple of times, I don't really know it. Uh, 
but we're heading pretty much due east, so that makes sense. I'm thinking about making a couple of kind of videos, maybe one that would be a layman's pr uh, primer on using the autopilot. Um, I watched Squirrel's uh, tutorial on that and that was actually really good. Um, but I thought maybe I should do my own and kind of in my own style, um, sort of quick path to getting it to work. Um, I had to experiment with it a lot, but I you know, figured it out got it working. Uh, you really have to pay attention to the throttle. And then before the first patch, autopilot would do some weird things at times. Um, so anyway, it seems to be working really well now. Um, one mistake I had made though was turning it over to autopilot too early when uh, it has to make a pretty large course correction and then it would kind of serpentine back and forth and not settle on a course. And so what I did this time was settle on the course first, then hand it off. And so it's been smooth ever since. So like I said, a tutorial video. The other one maybe would be a video showing, you know, my last dozen or so takeoffs, maybe another one showing landings, way to see how I'm improving flight to flight. I'm not flying much outside of making these videos. Occasionally I'll go off and do something, but trying to focus my learning on these recorded sessions, hoping I can help other people in some way by talking about it and uh, showing what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to stick with the 208B for a while, but then I'll go up to a bigger plane. I want to step up as I get more comfortable. I was doing a 172 for a while and I felt like I kind of outgrew it. I wanted something a little faster. Uh, I love this plane, the Grand Caravan. It's fast, it's stable. Um, it just seems to be a very nice solid plane. Uh, it feels a little bloated inside, I guess, but you know, it's meant to take passengers, I guess. So what are you gonna do? As an individual, I would not need all that space. Even the name Cranver Grand Caravan sounds like a, you know, people carrier minivan or something. All right, well, our instruments look good. Uh, 135 knots is fine, 3,200 feet on course. Um, one thing I started paying attention to is these engine, uh, the engine telemetry because I noticed that I was maxing out the engine. I still have engine stress turned off. Uh, I keep forgetting to turn it back on, but that'll become important once I've got that turned on because uh, it becomes possible, I guess, to fry the engine. There are a lot of buttons here that I haven't actually used much yet that are functional. It might be nice to start learning a little bit more. Um, I did discover the dash illumination is all down here and turning off the planes over here, the cabin lights and the flying lights around here. But there's a bunch of stuff I don't know. This um, inertial separator, I have no idea what that is. I guess I should Google for it. Approach. Okay, so we're getting One, two, close. Seven for KH we're soon going to have the ladder landing pattern. KH I'm going feet. to set a target of 2,100 KH feet. Guessing at what the height no of the landing pattern is going to be. And then let's turn on flight level change and let it drop down. It's 
so this seemed like seemed like a pretty quick flight. This plane, I mean, we've been going at I don't know, twice or three times freeway speed, so it makes sense. Um, I think if I was a pilot and I found one of these for sale, I might consider buying it. But I have no intention to becoming an actual pilot. It's a nice idea, but I wouldn't want to spend the money, and I don't trust myself to not panic in an emergency. Although I guess with lots of, you know, flight hours, that kind of diminishes. At some point I do want to turn on things like uh, random damage or random failures and stuff, but that's going to wait until I feel really confident that I've mastered flying, and then I'll feel comfortable enough to, um, you know, have the engine go out and then just figure out what I have to do to, to get down safely, that kind of thing, or restart it. Um, I mean, if I was to flip this switch here, everything would just completely shut off. Uh, it'd probably ruin the engine because it wouldn't go through its normal cooldown cycle. Uh, so you definitely don't want to do that. All right, we've made it to our 2,100 feet. I'm going to continue to just try to slow down a little bit. I often have a problem of approaching the landing with too much velocity, and then it becomes very hard to burn the velocity off. So I'm going to start approaching slower. Uh, I'll put the flaps down as soon as I get close enough to the entrance. I don't see it yet, but it should show up by the time we get to, I don't know, 10, 10 miles away. I'm going to go ahead and look outside for a minute until then. Uh, I'm going to give it some more thrust. We're going a little too slow. Okay. Just want a little bit of safety margin on thrust. Alright, well, the wind is calm. Looks like it's going to be a straightforward landing. The runway is going to be a left turn, and so landing pattern may just be a simple slight right turn into it. These look like sand dunes. I think that must be what that is. It's hard to tell if the game is adding any three-dimensionality to those or if it's just a photograph. I don't really see much parallax happening. hard to judge the pattern but I think it's a I think it is a right turn into it I was expecting it to wrap around towards the right it looks like it's wrapping around towards the left that's fine that's not a big deal. let's look down and see what this stuff looks like I wonder what they're growing. I'm imagining, I don't know, broccoli or something. Maybe herbs, cilantro. Looks like it's a little less hazy than earlier. Starting to see a little bit more detail. Maybe that's because I'm closer to the ground. That could be helpful. A 
lot of this just looks like satellite photo and not actual 3D objects. Alright, the pattern actually wraps around differently than I was expecting, but that's just fine. So we'll head over to the entrance. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my flaps part way down now and drop thrust. Altitude. What I had been doing before in that situation was using the elevators to account for the flap change, but I realized, you know, this time that actually it's thrust that would make the difference, and so I can use that to just maintain, you know, the same altitude I was having. So I think as long as we're maybe below 80, it's going to say that we're not going too fast. And I am going to disengage autopilot. I think. Where is it? There it is, okay. Alright. And fly the rest of the way inside. It's a little hard to see. Oops, okay, I need to use the look to the right. Alright, I think I'm too high. But it's probably okay because we're going pretty slow and so I can afford to get some speed out of the altitude burnoff. sort of guessing where the entrance is. I'm not sure if this is exactly the right way to go. I might have passed it. Yeah, I think I passed it. Or maybe I'm just uh, actually right on target. Okay. I would apologize to my passengers if I had any after that. Uh, I'm going to drop the flaps the rest of the way. Alright, that ought to slow us down a bit. Looks like it wants us to go under 85. So we will just watch the airspeed. Um, I really would like to like to make the landings a lot smoother. I feel like I'm bouncing around a lot, but you know that'll come with practice. Uh, the takeoffs have gotten a lot smoother. I really think it just takes, you know, hours upon hours upon hours of practice and it becomes natural. Uh, and you n instinctively know how to deal with uh, things that come up that you weren't expecting. Um, and the, the, the feeling of moving the plane around and, you know, the amount you need to move the stick and things, that kind of becomes natural after a while. All right, I need to slow her down more because we're going to have another turn up here where the speed limit is lower. Okay, so I think we need to go below 80 now. Don't want to drop the engine too low, but this ought to work, I think. There's the runway. Let's get ourselves straightened up on it, if we can. Garmin can kind of help with that. All right, so I've had a problem of dropping a little bit too quickly while trying to land, and so I'm just going to try to give it a bit more thrust and hit, you know, have the wheels touch when I want them to touch and not too not too early. Try not to go below that white line and maintain uh, lift on 
the wings. Alright, so here we are approaching the runway, and so I should be able to pull up and just try to float for a while. And then we're going to get a complaint about stalling, probably. Oh, there we go. Alright, we had a nice non-bumpy landing. That was nice. Alright, so we have landed. Let's find the way off the runway. Alright, we will do that. Wonder if there's anybody behind me. Uh, it's not convenient to look right now. I do see a guide up here though, so I think it's going to guide us off the runway. A lot of times I fly somewhere and then I'm kind of left in the dark. Uh, although this looks like one measly little arrow stuck in the ground or something. Or I don't know what that is. Oh, I see. Okay. That's making sense. So K two seven five, turn next taxiway. Turn next taxiway. Okay. I'm just following the blue arrows. It's supposed to go twenty knots or less when you're taxiing a little bit fast. Go outside for a minute. Trying to avoid navigating the plane from outside as if it's a video game and fly f from the cockpit so that it's more real and it may be a better learning experience. And so trying to stay in here as much as possible during the critical moments. Um, she's nagging me about getting off, but I, I mean, maybe I just have to go anywhere I want. Maybe that's the idea. telling me to get off the runway, but the blue arrows ever have me go forward, so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do exactly, but we'll pull off here, see if she reaches out to us. This is a good time to use a combination of rudder, is, uh, rudder and brake string. Okay, so let's... Going to one two one decimal niner, KH275. Let's take over for the co-pilot and contact ground, ask for taxi clearance to parking. Ground KH275 taxi to parking. Okay. KH275 Seems like a good place to stop and Wow, a lot of runway crossing. Taxiing to general aviation parking by taxiway cross runway tree right cross runway tree <laughs> five cross runway two one right cross runway tree five K H two seven five. What happened before? I, I, I guess they assume that the plane can't make tight turns. Oh, looks like things have locked up for a moment. This happens sometimes. I'm not sure why. I can sometimes get it to come back by hitting the Windows button. Okay, there we go. Not sure what that was. Alright, well, taxi speed limit be damned because I want to get off. I want to get to parking. I have a lot of crossing of runways to be doing, apparently. Okay, we're starting to lift off, I guess, a little bit. That's why I should have, I should have actually had the flaps up and not down. things I forget to do. I turned off notifications by the game about that kind of stuff. Um, and so yeah, it would kind of make up for being reminded. Okay, here we go. Whoa. I'm going too fast for that turn. Whoa, okay, well. I'm going to just deal with it. I can't back up and make a U-turn. Where am I supposed to go? At least everything's flat. I don't think I'm going to hurt anything, but it's starting to feel a little ridiculous. Whoa, shit, right here. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't think 
that's going to work because I don't think I can turn that tight. Let's see. I have to turn it to the right, I guess. Try to pivot on the right brake. That seems to be working. Couple of guys waiting for me to park. Make them happy in a second. Alright, and I'm learning why you want to keep the speed down while taxiing. Planes are not cars. Crown Empire Air 7802 requesting pushback. Empire Air 7802 right. pushback. We are parked. Accepted. Let me set the parking brake. Let me shut off the engine. That's it. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.